Hi Taurus. Thank you for visiting my channel. Today we're going to do a love reading for Taurus. And I've already laid out the cards. I shuffled them very, very well over and over. And I feel like we've got a pretty accurate reading. So let's talk about your current energy. In your current energy, you have, what are you thinking about Taurus? You're thinking about the Knight of Cups. So this is somebody that comes sweeping in fast and furious, full of love with the love offer. Um, but as we know, knights are a little bit hasty. Sometimes they tend to come and go. Um, and what's crowning that energy? This is your current energy. What's crowning that energy is the king of swords. So the same, same person here. I'm feeling the same exact energy in this king of swords. If you look at this picture, this king of swords, it looks as though he's deep in thought. He says, I'm, I'm feeling that this um, king of swords and, and knight of cups is someone that comes in, sweeps you off your feet, um, too good to be true kind of energy, but not really. He is, he is sincere. He is a king, um, but it, the, the swords talk about, about communication, so there's strong love communication here, um, which is crowning your, your energy, um, and here's the fast movement card, so which I pulled to clarify. So we've got this Knight of Cups coming in for your current energy influenced by the king of swords and um, clarifying with fast um, movement action and i think that is a pretty good indication of this reading so this that's what's on your mind that's what's crowning your thoughts now in your past um your past we've got your immediate past we've got success we've got recognition i feel like this person this energy came in he's amazing he's swept you off your feet you had every sign and every reason to um, feel success and, and glory and recognition by friends family and and um, in this in this connection um, which takes us to um, your also your, if you look at your past issues your past issues are you've been through you've had a long road a long journey and um, you're feeling weary and worn down. Maybe you don't feel like you can do, take any, take any um, further steps. But this uh, this card is a really strong message about look how far you've come. You are almost there. We are at a nine. Ten gives us a completion. So this is a message of don't give up. Keep going. Don't let go of that um, of this of this um, recognition and success that you that you have and that you've seen. Um, if we go, if we look at to your crowning, crowning thoughts, we have the, the four pinnacles, which indicates uh, I'm feeling a fear of lack, a fear, a fear of not having enough. Um, it, you know, obviously can indicate hanging on, and you feel a strong need to hang on to this situation. It came in so fast and furious. It felt good. There was recognition after a long road of struggle, and. Um, now, it, 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 overall, you feel fear of losing this, losing stability, and um, and I think that's where you are right now. Um, in the immediate future, remember, though, this is usually something that's in your head, though. So um, this is this is maybe what you're feeling, but it doesn't mean that that is your outcome because you always can control the outcome we don't have this is not major arcana so this is all things that can be influenced um, in your immediate future we have the queen of pentacles this tells me that you are someone who is very capable of self-success and that the message i'm feeling is to stay focused don't let emotions um, take you off your path and um, you have the ability for success on your own and this is probably where you should focus because this is in your immediate future and i think you know how to achieve this this queen of pentacles is stable she's confident she knows how to make things happen she's financially successful so this is a great card to have in your immediate future um, then we have the uh, in your fears card we've got i don't know if you can see all this in your fears card we, its position we do have the tower so you do it, this indicates to me that you fear a um, upheaval a crisis a tower moment where everything you've built and have been working towards 
comes crashing down. This also goes along with this um, long road and this fear of lack. So um, this is this is something that you've got to try and not let. It, this is a major arcana, so there, this this is going to happen. But don't let it affect your um, forward movement. Don't let it affect your you being the queen of imp of, of pentacles because that's who you are that's how you know to be and you know at that same time Taurus I know that you can easily get caught up in your head and uh, sidetracked from this um, because of the ups normal ups and downs of an, you know a new beginning in love and all the peaks and valleys that go with it so don't forget this is who you are where you're gonna be even when this tower moment does happen now in environmental factors and how others are viewing the situation whoops let's see we have the page of Pentacles so page of Pentacles um, how others view this is that they're seeing this as a st strong stable new beginning um, and this is people who know you who know your, your um, partner and uh, this male energy and um, so they're seeing this as something secure, stable. And remember, a page is a, is a message of, 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 a page of pentacles is a, is a message or a new um, uh, delivery of something stable. It doesn't mean that, it, it means that it's bound, built on a, found, a firm foundation. So um, something's gonna come along, maybe shake this thing up. But others are viewing it as something very um, strong and stable. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so where were we? Um, strong and stable. So um, your 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 hopes, and this is a great card to have for your hopes. I mean, Taurus, we we know that you're about stability and security and strength. So. In your hopes position, we have the strength card. And this is what you're hoping for to happen with this connection. You want it to be solid, strong, um, just very stable and built on a strong foundation. So that that's indicated here by the strength card. Now in the outcome, in the outcome, we have the wheel of fortune. So what this tells me, which is beautiful, beautiful card. So in a great place for it to be. So in your outcome, we have the Wheel of Fortune. What this whole reading is telling me, oops, is that you, what I'm picking up on is that there's this great, amazing new love um, knight. He comes in, he's extremely charming and very open and um, communicative of a love offering. And, and it is sincere. I do feel like it's sincere. Um, maybe a little bit hasty. Maybe scares him a little. Maybe he gets spooked um, because we've got some fear here. We've got fear of lack. We've got the recognition card. We kind of have an up and down, back and forth, which is not unusual for knights. This card in the outcome is telling me that this is all playing out by divine timing. Okay, and we'll get some more answers to this, but um, the message I am feeling that needs to be conveyed, that the, the Spirit's trying to convey to you, is let this play out in divine timing. Don't get in your head. Don't try to um, force it um, or manipulate, and I don't mean manipulate in, a, in an ugly way, I mean orchestrate, things to make it move forward faster than it's supposed to or trying to be perfect and analyze and overanalyze and circling that mental loop in your head what can i do what can i do to make him, make this happen better what how how to be perfect take that pressure off off yourself stay in your strength you've been through a long tough journey and you're almost there and you can do it you can get back to this recognition and um, success um, but don't freak out don't don't discredit or worry that divine timings at play there are some things that have that you know there's a normal ebb and flow 
of relationships. Now, in the clarifying cards, I I found um, Four of Cups. This actually came up in another Taurus reading that I did, which is telling me that here you are. You are the Queen of Pentacles. This is in your immediate future. It's not Major Arcana, so you can influence that with your actions. This is telling me that you're strong, um, Queen of Pentacles. You know who you are. You know your abilities. You have the, the ability to make money, to be successful, to be stable emotionally and, and financially in the material world on your own. So don't miss an opportunity that comes along for this goal by getting in your head about this king or knight of cups. So stay focused, stay on task, because this is a warning card not to miss, miss an opportunity. That was clarified by the ace of cups. So, which tells me don't miss an opportunity not only to become this queen of pentacles or back to this queen of pentacles that you are, but it also could hinder or slow down forward movement towards this, for this new beginning with this king. And don't, you've got fear holding you back. You feel stuck. You feel trapped. You're never stuck. You're not trapped. You can undo that. You can get out of that. You're you're the Queen of Pentacles. You are strong. This also could indicate a Libra, of course, and this could be air. But the message I'm feeling from Spirit is that don't miss an opportunity. This has come up more than once. I feel this strongly for you, Taurus. Stay focused. Don't get distracted by your love and get caught up in your emotions because staying focused and, and not trying to orchestrate everything to be perfect is going to help you with this new beginning in love and which will turn out to be a Ten of Cups. So we have a lot of promise here. I feel good about the sincerity of this King and I, I do. I am picking up a love here. I feel like Maybe there's a little bit with the night, the in and out. Maybe there's a little bit of, of being spooked by how much he does feel this connection. And um, maybe it, there's not time. And I, I, I did pull a healing family issue. So I do think that the, the slowdown in forward movement, when it comes up, it's, I think it's going to come up and go, come and go. But when it does, I think it has something to do with healing family issues. And so again, divine timing is at play here. Also in the clarifying cards, we got the emperor. Beautiful. And we have king of cups, another king. We have the devil card, which of course can be great sex. I mean, you know, that's always nice. It can be temptation, it can be, um, the, the devil card can be a lot of things, but I, I again, I feel, I, I feel like this is a fear, getting your heart broke, this king is fearing getting his heart broke, so I think you gotta keep your head, be cool about it, and, um, I also pulled a couple of, um, spirit messages from your divine, and, and what I got was, I still love you, and I think this, and I might need to go my, I need to go my own way for, for a while. That doesn't mean this will last, this could just be that this is in his thoughts, and that's really what I'm feeling. This is in his thoughts, everything is moving at a normal, um, healthy pace, but I feel like there will be times when he pulls back, either emotionally and mentally or to the point where you actually see it. I think the main message here is divine timing is at hand and he needs to heal from family issues or maybe it's you. I feel like it's him. Um, divine timing, back and forth, night. I do see forward movement here, but whenever there is a back, a little bit of a back, of a stall or delay, I feel like the message to you is don't get caught in your head. You focus, nothing you can do or orchestrate or by trying to be perfect is going to push this to the end result any faster. And I do think that it could hinder the progress. So what you need, to, what, what I think you need to do, stay focused, be that queen of pentacles, keep your strength, 
um, because there are some things going on behind the scenes that he's he's got to maybe get through before you get to that completely stable place where you thought you were in the beginning and you know new love excitement um, but then oh my gosh this is so amazing but then you know sometimes when if you spend a few days together and then you go back to work and real reality hits it's like oh my gosh what am I doing is this real can I trust it doubt starts to to creep in let that play out on its own and don't try to orchestrate it okay Taurus I, I, I hope you enjoyed this please let me know um, hit that button like share and subscribe and um, I hope you guys have a great day wishing you love and light bye bye